Today's quickie is a recipe that I just recently learned about. I love it. I've been making it quite often and I think you're going to love it too. We're going to do a boil in bag omelet. You'll see that I'm starting out with a small nonstick skillet. I've got about an inch of water in the skillet and I've got that on some medium high heat. While that's heating up, we're gonna mix up our omelet. I'm starting off with two eggs. I'm gonna be mixing this up in a spouted measuring cup so that it'll be easy to pour in the bag when we're ready. This part's kind of free form. Whatever you like to go in your omelet. For me, I'm gonna use a little bit of onion, tiny bit of green pepper, a little bit of cheese, some bacon bits, a little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper, a dash of milk, and about a pat of butter. I'm going to mix these things up, but you can use whatever ingredients you like. Bacon, sausage, ham, onions, green peppers, anything that you like. Cheese. It doesn't matter. I do like the little pat of butter in there though. I think it's going to give our omelet a really nice flavor in the end. Next, you're gonna need a zipper lock sandwich bag. Make sure you choose one that's BPA free so that you're not putting that nasty little toxin into your omelet. We're gonna pour our omelet into the sandwich bag. It's important to get as much air out of the bag as you can before you seal it. Once we've sealed it, we're gonna use some tongs to place this in our bubbling water. You'll see how I've folded that over because I wanna have a nice rectangle shaped omelet. Some recipes that you'll see online show you just to lower it down into a pot, but you're gonna get a rather irregular shaped omelet at the end. After about five minutes, we're going to flip this over. Now when we do that, I want to be sure to keep the zipper side of the bag on top. This omelet's been cooking somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm going to turn it off and let's see what we've got. Ready. I'm gonna top this one with a little bit of salsa. I can't stand any burnt or any brown on my eggs. So that's one thing I love about this recipe. It's gonna cook your eggs nice, but you're not gonna have any scorch on the eggs whatsoever. This little omelet looks delicious. Tastes delicious too. This is gonna to be a great late morning snack for me. I wanna thank my friend Carter for turning me onto that recipe. It's definitely a keeper. Join me every Thursday for quickie videos. I'm gonna to try to keep those under five minutes for you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Keep jamming.